Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Meguna Meguna is coming out to tell you Kenyans. These attempts, you're seeing some busybodies, especially the Kenya Kwanzaa elected members of parliament, trying to take this motion of changing the term limit of president in the Republic of Kenya is just simple instructions that are coming from certain individual in this Kenya Kwanzaa government. And so we cannot rubbish that it is not William Ruto who is trying to test waters if this can go through. And so Miguna is saying that at that time, William Ruto and his cronies will attempt to change the presidential term limit, then they will face off William Ruto head on. They are not going to tolerate William Ruto. And of course, he will stand strong and even lead the opposition to say no to the movement of William Ruto crafting the two-term limit for presidential um, rule in this Republic of Kenya. I want you to listen to Meguna Meguna while having an interview at Obinas TV yesterday. But before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, please do me a favor. I've realized that you guys, you watch the video and you don't like the video. Do you know that when you like the video, you automatically support the work that I'm doing in this video. I will really appreciate for your effort to like the video. This video is going to be recommended in YouTube platform. And also you are going to enable this video to reach more people. And that is why I'm requesting you to like this video. If you are a visitor for the first time visiting this channel, consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Let us listen to whatever Meguna is saying. Say it as I see it. Where? <sighs> There's this theory about changing uh, term limits. You've had the rumor. That's nonsense. It should not even be a dream. It is seriously being considered, and I am telling William Ruto, don't. Oh, wow. Anytime you see any of these busy bodies running with these things to parliament, you must know that somebody told them, go test it. And I'm saying it is a terrible nightmare. If they bring it, I would be the first to declare an opposition to that constitutional change, and I would win. I would oppose it right off the top. It will not pass. We need to implement the constitution fast. All aspects of it. And then after we have done that, if there are any areas to be restructured, let the citizens be the ones doing it. Not somebody who is going to gain directly from it. He serves 10 years. If he has to be elected the second time, home. If the Kenyans decide not to elect him again, home. People are thinking maybe after 10 years, Gashagwa will step in there. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when you look at Meguna, Meguna's comment on changing term limit of president in the Republic of Kenya, I think for me, uh, the Nandi senator, Samson Chirangi, is trying to test waters. And I know the instructions has just come out from several, uh, let me say, the senior government official in this Kenya Council government. And of course, it is William Ruto. Because we were told that two articles, two articles, one article that narrates the term limit of president. Then we are having another article that states the members of parliament limit and MCs, including governors. And so, Samson Chirade is taking this motion to the parliament for a discussion to craft off 
the two-term limit of president in the Republic of Kenya. And also these members of parliament, governors and MCS. If the government of Kenya Kwanzaa, you have been given 10 years to do what you promised Kenyans. And upon your realization, you're thinking that when you are being added another term as a government, you can do more. Which for me, look at even the first term only. Kenyans will realize that if someone can do something, you can notice it in just first term. But if someone cannot work, you will again notice it in the first term. You cannot come out and tell us that you are looking for to craft of the two-term limit of president equal three-term. Where it acquired 15 years. 15 good years. But already we have seen the signal in your first term, as someone who cannot deliver what you promised Kenyans. What is this assurance that will make us believe that if you are going to be added another five years, you're going to deliver your promises? Because we are being told according to their argument is that when they are going to be sworn in in the office, the first term is just to prepare what they want to do. Then the second term is to start working. Then the third term, they finalized. Let me send a question here, the way Miguna is saying it. If someone cannot deliver his promise starting first term, what is this assurance that he can do in three terms? Nothing. Nothing. Let us call a spade a spade, not a big spoon. And that is what we must realize, Kenyans. William Ruto is William Ruto. He will not change even if you give him four terms, even five terms. William Ruto is William Ruto with his punitive government and we must call it without any fear of contradiction. And I'm not fearing to say that. William Ruto has failed Kenyans in terms of many issues across the board. Look at the leadership in Kenya, Kwanzaa. You want to tell me, Nevo Milia, with this useless government, and still, you want me to praise William Ruto at you all. This and the reality is, William Ruto has failed Kenya. And now, if they are starting to talk about the term limit, it's showing a punitive government. We must speak and we must call them out. You know, we must call them out. They are having incompetent cabinet ministers. And that is why Raidu Binga said, in Matakataka Yote. And in fact, the driver himself, Ajueta Sterling Iko Api, Gia Iko Api, Clutch Iko Api, Mafuta Iko Api, he doesn't understand. Waipa Iko Api, Ailevi. And so when Raidu Dinga is saying this, some people are furious coming out to attack Raidu Dinga. I mean, we'll speak the truth. You like it, you don't like it. The reality is, I'm not here to look a ticket of UDA for any seat in 2027. And so we will speak it out. If Raidu Dinga and Akosia, we will say it. Kama Ruta na Kosia, we are going to say it. And if you think that in this channel we are going to massage anyone, then you are in a wrong place. So this term limit that Meguna is talking about, we cannot sit, relax, and see some individuals just incompetent as such kind of leadership in Kenya Kwanzaa government. And you want us to keep quiet because promise after promise, Things that are not there. We were being even promised heaven, but we are still on earth. What do you expect? The government of the day, they're busy walking around telling that we have done this to Metenga, to Mepanga, Mwaka Ujao, Imwezi, next year. Yet they have all languages of convincing individuals in this Republic of Kenya. And that is why Miguna is coming out to send a signal. Kenyans are furious. Kenyans are furious, including those who voted for William Ruto. They are so furious. Why? Because what they were told is not eventually what they are seeing with their two eyes. 
So what you are, what are your expectations if this man is going to be given another term? So that you can have three terms. We must ask ourselves those questions. And if we are not going to ask ourselves, then who are these people who are going to defend our people? Wanyonge, where they don't have voice. They don't have any platform to say their views. And that is why we must say it the way it is. Meguna is right. Despite of him coming out to vote for William Ruto and campaigning for William Ruto and defending William Ruto, Machi yao inaanza kufunguka na wanaona the right direction. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet in another video.